Okay, now heading to the uh, inspection center. So, like what we mentioned, what we promised, we have delivered this year. After all the hard work, uh, we're proud to announce that now Evo Club has 90 workshops around the country. 90. And out of that, 42 of them are inspection centers. Basically, they're big enough to do a proper inspection instead of just oil change service and all that. And um, if you are buying a use or recon car, you can go to any of these 42 inspection centers to get your car inspected. Um, of course, they will charge you a price, but it's a good value. It's not as high as they normally charge and they are qualified to do the job. They'll make sure you have uh, a great car at your disposal. Other than that, if, let's say, you bought a brand new car from Honda, from BMW, okay, and you took a seven-year loan or a nine-year loan, and then your warranty only covers you five years. Of course, by the fifth year, you wanted to sell your car, but we know times are not that okay, whatever. Um, some people may need to drive their cars until their loan is done, seven years or nine years. That's when you feel that you're very worried where to service your car, where it would be a trusted one, and what if something goes wrong with your car and things like that, you will incur expenses. So what if we have done over the past one year, we have worked so hard to look for a suitable partner and we have tied up with GMR, got my right, I'll go to I'll got my right, I'll go to them later on. So what we have established is this. This is unprecedented, okay? If your Honda Civic, let's say, your warranty is ending soon, okay, you're worried. What you can do now is that you can bring your car to one of our 42 inspection centers and get it checked. They need to check whether you have periodically serviced your car and whether your car is in good condition and everything is all right. You qualify for the warranty extension. Once you qualify, you will be able to purchase an extension of your warranty. I'll give you an example of roughly how much they cost. Okay, let's say you drive a Land Rover. Okay, we all know Land Rover incurs huge uh, service or maintenance costs, right? Parts and all that. Let's say you own a Land Rover. How much do you think an extended warranty would be for one year that takes care of your engine, your gearbox, and a lot of stuff all are listed on our website. Let's guess, one year. All right? Let me tell you this. If you guess it's above 5,000 ringgit, your guess is not incorrect because that's what people will assume it is. But the selling price, if you join Evo Club for this, is less than 3,500 ringgit. Yes, to warranty your car for one whole year, almost bumper to bumper, all right? That would be something unprecedented. And that's what we have been working hard on. And this allows those people who have always bought new cars, who has zero experience with workshops and all this, but were forced to continue to drive their car for a longer period of time to have someone help you take care of your car, trusted workshops, trusted mechanics, to take care of you. All you need to do is just to join Evo Club at club.evomalaysia.com. Okay? This is unprecedented because these type of uh, extended warranty providers in the nation, there are so many of them, 20, 30 of them. Actually, only three of them, only three are operating legally. What do I mean by legally? In Malaysia, in order to transfer risk to another it has to be backed by an insurance company. You must have an insurance license. And only three extended warranty providers have insurance companies backing them. Only three. And out of these three, the other two, you might have never heard of them either. All right? I'll continue. There's a phone call. So, Yep, sorry for that, the interruption. Um, 
Yep, so now I'm actually doing the same thing uh, by bringing my car over to make sure to hope that it, it, it passes the inspection and then I get to purchase a warranty extension on my car to protect my car. Now, this company, Guard My Right, is the biggest extended warranty provider out there. All right. Um, I tell you what, there's there are a lot of famous ones when you buy cars. I mean, uh, I don't want to mention their names, but I tell you, out of the famous ones, all right, the three or four most famous ones where you when you go to car dealers out there, they will tell you uh, buy extended warranty from this so and so. Only one of them is legal. The other famous ones that are very active out there, they are not backed by insurance companies. That is one very, very important thing that you should know. Now, if you ask me, why? Why is it that uh, is such a big deal whether they are backed by insurance companies or not? Let me tell you this thing. If I'm not backed by an insurance company, I'm, my, my services that I sold to you, I did not transfer that risk by transferring that to another uh, insurance company. That means I am the judge I am the judiciary, I am the enforcement. What do I mean by that? Is that I sell you the warranty, I pocket your money into my pocket, and it's up to me to say whether I approve your claim or not. And if I approve your claim, the money comes out from my pocket. So where is the incentive of me approving your claim? Would it be better for me to try my best to not pay you full amount? Isn't that so? There are so many tribunal cases going on now with regards to all these. And it's all caused by consumers not being aware or they don't thoroughly check. All right? So I'm, I'm gonna go. Hi guys, I've arrived here at Prestige Car Care. This is Keith. And uh, they specialize in continental big cars, as you can see here. And he's being a very, very nice guy. He just told me that they will go to, the things that they will go through include uh, what? engine oil, engine oil, and so then all the transmission oil, transmission oil, yes, and exo, exo oil, ah, and the brake fluid, brake fluid, steering fluid. Yes. They will check all this, right? Yes. And then uh, diagnostic. Yeah, diagnostic. Mm. So after we can check, uh, after diagnostic, we we'll check uh, all the maintenance parts. Uh. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So like the brake pad and yeah. the suspension condition. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So that's a rather comprehensive way of checking the entire car. Now, as you can see, they don't have a bay ready for me because they are jam-packed full of cars. Uh, of course, I don't want to capture some other of their customers' cars here. Some are, you see the Bentley Continental GT Cabriolet there. That's a beautiful car. So my car is over there behind the GTR. So it's my third day collecting the car. So I'm coming here to hopefully get everything checked. And hopefully I pass the inspection so I get to buy the extended warranty from, from GMR. So look at this place. They are one of the GMR panel workshops, you know, proper, proper workshops, proper procedures and professionals doing their job. And if they are not good, if they are not honest, they can't grow until this size. And all over this place, you can see their vision, their mission, their core values and all that. And, uh, so uh, you don't need you can you can you can continue with your thing. So okay. I, I don't want to catch up you. All right. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. So I like the fact that uh, you look at that core values of our workshop: customer first, integrity, team spirit, continuous improvement. Look at that. I'm sure I get better. You see, which cars are urgent? Which car needs check? Which car needs test? Which cars are done? I saw another car over there with a plug put on top. This car is waiting for parts. They say that the car is waiting for parts. So people here actually communicate with each other via a systematic approach. I like that, I like that, all right? So yeah, getting a trusted, reliable workshop or mechanic to maintain your car is very important. And that's why we went the hard way and get you guys the whole full works of it. Remember last year, we only have one place to do inspection uh, when you wanna buy a use or recon car now we have 42 and if you join evo club and you extend your warranty there are 90 workshops all over malaysia to support your car under your extended warranty program way more than any established car makers out there all right that's evo club for you and uh look at this g wagon so now I'll just i'll just go into their lounge sit down have a drink while i wait for them to move my car to an available bay later on.
all right and once uh, if uh, my car passed the, the, the procedure and all that they will inform uh, GMR our extended warranty provider uh, for Evo Club and then they will prepare the booklet with my report with my uh, all the details of my car for me to purchase the extended warranty bumper to bumper almost bumper to bumper the full list is listed on our website all right so that's their office and uh, I'll wait for the boss to come back hello and uh, is that the lounge sorry uh. oh hello sorry yeah that's the lounge while I wait for my car to come in all right okay guys they finally have a bay for my car and uh, I want to introduce the boss to you guys. This is, I call uh, you Hawaii, right? Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii, yeah. Uh, first time met him, but he's such a humble, nice guy. And I was like, wow, this place is so big. But he was like, no, la, I'm still learning and all that. So he's a very nice guy. First impression is really, really good. And uh, now they will go through my car and do the full inspection. And. Um, so this is the engine, I mean, uh, four liter. What are the common things that, uh, lady, we check, eh? you all will check. Engine, no? first, yep. first an engine, here yep. suspensions. Yep. Then we will run to a dynos. Yep. Then I'll check on the chassis. So. Check on the chassis. Yep. Okay. And uh, I hope you can help me to see uh, brake fluid uh, engine. Ah, the, one fluid, the one for sure, the one for sure. All right, all right. Yep. Those, uh, we'll whether I need to change car, or not. We'll go to yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need someone reliable like them. And uh, is it okay if I say that just now I saw a Rolls Royce servicing yeah. here yeah. and how much the service cost? Uh, it's only 1000 plus. Yeah, just now I saw a Rolls Royce doing a uh -huh. uh, service here. So I was surprised because I saw the owner came here and picked up the car. The owner was super nice, super humble, you know. He's like, shake my hands and all that. And then he drove the car himself. And then I, I asked Hawaii, how much does the Rolls Royce, uh, it's an oil change service, right? Yeah, oil change service. Yeah, so 1000 plus. It's just 1000 plus. Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> so, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, the tools. I saw all the reviews online and uh, mostly 19 over percent are praises. So that's why I come over to this place and look for why and uh, their team so hopefully one first good sign is they do this it's not just my car because I notice other cars look at the Mercedes up there they cover the driver's seat as well uh, they do these things so I, I like places that are that do this procedure properly yeah and I, I'm sure it's because they're all well trained by Hawaii all right okay. so I'm gonna have more conversations with him to learn more from him and he said he wanted to learn from me, I don't know, doing YouTube. A lot of things to learn from you. Uh, we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yep. I'll let you guys know what they found out later on. Hopefully, nothing serious. But I think it should be nothing serious. Yep. So, yeah. Okay, guys. I just had a short chat with him. I learned something. Just now, I was showing you all the processes that they were doing here. All these processes. Then I asked him, did you learn these processes from your past experience from any uh, official like Honda or Toyota or whatever? He said no. Yeah. He actually, you know, they actually improvise themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you travel to China, Singapore, Singapore Germany, yeah. or, and then he will go to the workshops there and observe how they do, how the process was done. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. You know, people will never stop wanting to learn more and improve. They, they will always uh, achieve good results. Say they all I got it. Okay guys, first time to have you all have a look at my car under sunlight. Uh, sorry that day was excited and it was in the parking lot. It was rather dark. So these are the massive, massive uh, carbon ceramic brakes. They are huge. Alright. And um, as any RS model, you will have a matte finished um, side mirror housing, aluminium side mirror housing. So these tires, sorry, uh, the car came with Pirelli P zeros, and uh, I'm surprised they're comfortable. Um, 21 inch. Now uh, four wheel drive cars, 
it's a square setup meaning uh, all four tires are the same size all right so these are 285s uh, 21 what are the section uh, I couldn't see it but judging from this it's either 30 or 35 it's not that it's rather slim profile can't find the numbers because uh, yeah, the roads were wet just now rather dirty now at the back of the RS6 all right here's where you look at it unlike the Bentley with the oval pipe that is real this one is just an oval housing with two pipes sticking out all right so these are the diffusers and um, that's the rear wiper that needs to be changed I love looking at my car from the back here it's white body and uh, these are the little winglets on top all right the side the, the rear profile of this car is just very very good looking and uh, this is the funny thing RS6 okay no lah that's a joke it's just that uh, I just picked the police plate because there's an R in front alright uh, what are the other things that I notice alright that's the interior of my car Okay, I know that. When your car is being diagnosed, when it's plugged into the, the computer, better not do anything. Don't don't move the car, don't touch anything, don't open the fuel caps. And if the door is open, don't close it. If the door is closed, don't open it. Just don't touch anything when it's being diagnosed because the whole wirings and all that they are they're running around you know checking systems and all that all right so there are two headlamp configurations for the rsx this is the high spec full led matrix headlamp there is another one with the projector headlamp that is the low spec one and uh, i'm happy this car is full spec some cars comes with bose sound system this comes with the bang and olufsen where the tweeters would rise up as you can see here all right and uh, this one has the full black package where all the uh, window trims and all that are in black color okay uh, yep so now they're still doing the checking diagnostic and then they'll jack the car up they'll check everything under the car then they'll give me a full report hopefully my car has a clean bill and uh, it passes the uh, extended warranty inspection so that I get to purchase an extended warranty all right and he will let me know what needs to be done and i'll share with you the cost and all that cheers okay guys this is how the engine bay looks like without the cover that's the cover that he removed these are the two turbocharger units housed in between the v8 so in europe it helps the turbochargers to warm up but here i don't think we need them to warm up yeah, interesting. That's how that's how ugly the engine looks without the cover. That's why it needs a cover. Remember the how my S4 looks with the supercharger on top? That looks mechanically beautiful. This looks ugly. That's why they need a cover. Yeah. It's been almost an hour. Uh, of course, they, they did a very comprehensive check. Because uh, they did not just do the standard checking for the warranty extended the extension of warranty uh, oh, extended warranty uh, inspection that one is already done it's just that I asked them to do a more comprehensive check on everything that, and let me know what needs to be changed so far just now they took out the air filter the air filter is already rather dirty and uh, I asked them to replace it the air filter is 200 ringgit and then uh, I believe they told me the, the engine oil needs to be changed so we're going to change the engine oil and then uh, we'll see what other things popped up uh, that most are minor because the first thing that they asked me is that is this car rarely driven uh, when, they, when, they, when they jack it up and had a look at it so I said yeah uh, I, don't, I told them 30,000 mileage and they say yeah that's very low so it reflects in the car so uh, hopefully everything is well with it oh, I, I miss all this actually to be honest because uh, my BMW and my Audi has been 
giving me zero issues absolute zero issues for the past six years so I've not had a, like a like a workshop session so yeah this one is but itchy yeah so nice I see all the cars move in and out in and out interesting yeah these guys are very good they explained to me everything and they told me what they will do in the next course of action uh, they say that uh, if, if, if there are certain parts that uh, they will show me the original price, the original, basically the, the, the manufacturer price, and then uh, OEM price or compatible uh, price, and then certain things that are critical components they don't recommend using uh, compatible or OEM. Uh, certain things that are non-compatible, uh, non-critical, non-critical as in things like uh, control arms and all that. They let us as the customers, they give us a choice. That's good. Okay, this is the air filter that they removed from my car and this is the new one. So one way some people can wash it, you can wash it so that you can reuse it or you can get a new one. Uh, how much is the new air filter for Audi? It's about 250. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you Yep, so they are reversing my car out now. It has been given an, a very very good clean sheet bill of health. Thank God. It's in very, very good condition. That's the boss himself helping me with... He's such a humble guy. Humble and honest guy. The way he talks, the way he speaks. And I see all the other customers interact with him. They all come in here, say hi to him. And yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. And just now I went to their toilet. It's very, very clean. These are all my observations. <laughs> yep, time to head home now. So we're done. It's a long process, but a very, very comprehensive process. And um, what that got me most amazed is uh, how everybody here works. Shit, let me open my waist first. And street go home what amazes me more is how his usual customers interact with him and how he interacts with his colleagues as he would call or actually his staffs you know, so uh, I admire bosses who, who address their staffs as colleagues. <laughs> anyway, uh, my car has been given a very thorough check by uh, these guys at Prestige Car Care and um, uh, it has been given a very very clean sheet of health, clean bill of health or whatever and uh, I'm glad <laughs> and um, what I need to come back is to uh, do the oil change, the transmission oil, the gear, the, the engine oil, the uh, steering uh, and brake, and uh, and the, uh, maybe the, uh, the, the the differentials. I prefer to give my car a full blood transfusion every time I got my hands on a, a used car. So. That would be better and I'll do the aircon servicing, I'll change the aircon filters, I'll change uh, I've changed the the air filter just now because when they were taking off the pipes they were like oh that's really dirty and then uh, just ordered one for me but I haven't paid for it yet and um, all these stuffs and uh, so far I'm happy and then uh, they look at all the fault codes and then they checked I asked them to check the year year of my car. Why? Because when I check the year of my car, the VIN number, what I got from all those online VIN checkers is that my car is a 2014 car. However, when I buy the car, um, the, uh, the registration papers say this car is 2012, uh, which is interesting. So that got me a bit suspicious because 
I don't think there is a 2012 uh, RS6 C7. They haven't launched a car yet. So uh, the diagnostic, the full diagnostic shows uh, is correct. So maybe some error with uh, JBJ part, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what goes on. I don't care. At least my car is healthy. Everything is good. I have my Bang & Olufsen. I have my wonderful 4-liter V8 twin-turbo engine up front. Um, I have a healthy transmission. Everything is great. Yep. Uh, there are markings of, uh, of on the on the rear rubber strip where that that is the marking from uh, people breaking into the car. That means the rear right window has been broken before because uh, someone has there were markings there someone broke the, the, the rear window to steal stuff inside the car when it was under the hands of the previous owner and uh, yeah I'm glad oh the mileage the mileage matches with the diagnostic machine that means this car's mileage has never been tempered with they even go into the other modules to double check to double estimate the age of the mileage because um, those that tempered the mileage they can temper it in, 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 in what the machine reads as well but this car has true mileage so this is truly only 33,000 km which um, looks like I've got myself another bargain you know I, I earned two years and I earned proper real mileage here only 33,000 mileage a km and um, happy I'm a happy man and uh, my wife is a happy woman because this is her car. Yes, uh, previously when we had our S4 Avant and then uh, with the uh, BMW 640i, uh, I thought I, 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 thought I want to buy this, the 6 Series for her, but she prefers driving the S4, you know. but. It's just that the S4 is rather small and tight and then when we had our daughter, we have a helper, at that time we have a helper, so the car, that car was really, really tight and um, then we went into the XC90, right? Um, but in terms of drive, of course my wife prefers driving the S4 van and actually this RS6 is her car. Yeah. So, I'm not going to do some stage 1, stage 2, cat back, Akrapovic, Amitrix, blah 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 because this is her car. It's her, it's her to, it's, it will be her to decide what she wants to do with it, which is nothing apart from me helping to take care of the car, she will just drive it. So yep, this RS6 belongs to my wife and uh, because she is a performance wagon lover. She loves wagons too. Alright, so uh, that's about it. I'm going to do a, a, a more comprehensive review of, about this car. Uh, in terms of Gunting Run, hmm, I need to seek my wife's approval for taking her car for a Gunting Run. Um, maybe I would. However, the first thing I want to tell is that this car is not what it was made to be seen on YouTube. Everybody all over the world take this car to go and do track runs and um, or the, trying to slide the car is nonsense. This car is so comfortable. It's unbelievable. It's a very, very fast car, but it is also a very, very comfortable car. It's extremely comfortable. Like I said, the road demeanor of this car behaves like a BMW G30 5 Series, that means it's very quiet, very comfortable, very smooth and rise, glides on the road like that, alright? And um, yeah, and they also told me my rear air suspension, the two rear are air suspensions, uh, they are in perfect health, except the fact that each of them would cost me somewhere near to 10,000 ringgit if it were to fail. <laughs> Each. And uh, 
that are designed to last 100,000 km. So I'm happy this is a real mileage. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's my dashboard. Um, I don't know whether I've went through all the specs, but basically this car is full spec to the brim. If you're asking if there's anything I would do with the car, maybe if I found someone who was able, who's able to uh, install the new MMI uh, from Audi, basically the same car, the same thing, the same screen here, but they have, uh, I, I don't know whether it's 2017, or 2018 version with a higher resolution screen, higher resolution cameras, and able to display Google Maps and even displaying Google Maps in the center screen here. I'm not sure if anyone has has the capabilities of getting their hands on on this. And then uh, I would love to swap it into this car. Yeah, a higher grade Audi MMI system. All right, that's about it. Uh, going home with a broad smile and a uh, big shout out to those guys at Pres Prestige Car Care and I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly amazed with the, the owner, the boss, he's such a humble guy and their business has been so big and then I believe if, you, if, if you're honest and you're down to earth, you're humble, I'm sure you will do better in life which that owner of that workshop has shown. And um, it's a trivia. When I was there, when I just arrived there, I saw a Rolls Royce ghost in front. And then, uh, then the owner came to collect his car. He's a young man. Yes, young. I think not even 40. And uh, he is so humble. I didn't know he's the Rolls Royce owner. He came in, he smiled, he was soft-spoken, shook my hand, said hi, and introduced himself. And then uh, he continued his talking with the owner. And then he was very soft-spoken, very nice, very humble guy. And then uh, he asked how much, uh, then he paid for his service. And then he went out. And he's the owner of the Rolls Royce. I was like, oh, okay. So he's the owner of the Rolls Royce. And then I, I asked, how much is the uh, oil change? Is it 1,000 plus? It's normal because it's a 6 litre. Right, so, yeah. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, I have reviewed, I have made about 1,000 over videos in the past three years. So um, if you're interested in most of the recent cars and just follow my channel all right and if you look down in the description i have a whole team of my colleagues that you can check them out too all right cheers